Hi everyone, this is Tatiana Gan from Nashville, Tennessee, and I uh, just wanted to um, share with you today a special message um, about fear. Um, recently I've read a story by Katie Froling about her fears, and it really inspired me to share this with you about my fears, about fears of uh, that uh, that kept me from moving forward in life and I hope this message will inspire you well when I was growing up uh, fear has never been really part of my life except the fear of big dogs and um, you know fear of swimming uh, eventually I learned to swim and I learned to love big dogs that were basically you know uh, my size and uh, so that fear it was more of a physical fear fear of something that was outside of me but the real fear that I experienced in life was when I came here to United States and what I want to share with you is the fear that I, I had was a fear of my accent why I'm sharing this with you because for a lot of people, uh, their language, their ability to speak, communicate is natural, especially if you speak your own language, if you are, you know, native carrier of your language. When a person like me comes from another country, we become very aware of what we say, how we say it. And I actually started learning English since I was um, a child, uh, since I was probably 10 years old, 19 years old. My mother was an English professor and I used to read her books and back then I didn't understand. I was pretending I was reading her English books and her literature. But then later in life I developed the love for foreign languages and, and it took me really 20 years to master English. And I'm not done yet. I'm not finished. I'm still learning. I'm still mastering. I'm, I'm discovering new things that is helping me in my life to move forward, to overcome obstacles. So what I want to say to you that fear is just a thought that we all have. Fear is more of an inner feeling that we experience. Well, our mind is so powerful. and reading recently in in the book that Louis Hay wrote about you can heal your own life she mentioned that our mind can control everything we don't have to believe every thought that come in our head which means we don't have to believe that there is fear we don't have to believe everything we think we see and we hear so by understanding that I realized that my fear of accent is just nothing as long as I speak proper English as long as people understand me and I can articulate what I want to say that was important to me so fear of, of my accent is what makes me unique that what makes me authentic and makes me stand out so I want to encourage you to take your fear of something that you may have and turn it into something that is very powerful and that's something that you can use for um, you know for, for your own purpose to empower other people to encourage other people so for me accent is no longer an obstacle it's no longer block that was preventing me from moving forward once I realized that that my accent was something that actually my husband fell in love with and if I didn't have an accent probably you know I wouldn't be married today for 13 years because he'd said he fell in love with that accent so find something that people can fall in love with with that you have something you possess something that's you if it's your business you will attract the right people because they will find your unique personality unique qualities uh your skills 
don't let fear of what you have of what you also don't have prevent you from creating success abundance and joy in your life because as I said fear is just a thought so you your mind can control that thought and you can create the life you only want so you the actor on the stage of life and I want you to create amazing life you the director producer and so I wish you the best and keep moving forward. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.